If you already know how to sew a lap zipper, then you should have no problems sewing a centered zipper application. The construction process is almost identical, and if a lap zipper application is the very first zipper you learned how to sew, then a centered zipper is definitely the next step up. A centered zipper has two identical plackets on the side of the zipper teeth that creates a really nice balanced look. You can choose to use it on the center back seam of blouses and dresses to create a nice visual balance. A centered zipper has two equally sized plackets, one on each side of the zipper opening. The double placket provides a more visually balanced look and enhances the functionality of the zipper by allowing for easy zipping and unzipping from both sides of the application. Start by measuring the zipper opening along the seam that will house it. Mark with tailor's chalk a slash notch or simply insert a pin at the bottom zipper location. You should leave about half an inch at the top of the zipper opening. Align and pin the entire seam that will house the zipper. Starting from the bottom of the garment, stitch the seam regularly following the designated seam allowance, which is one inch in this example, until you arrive at the marked point. Backstitch at this point. Switch the setting on your machine to a basting stitch or the longest stitch available and complete the rest of the seam using this stitch length. Working on the top basted portion only, clip through every 5 or 6 stitches with your seam ripper as shown. Be careful not to pull the seam open in the process. Gently iron the seam allowance layers open. Align the open zipper face down such that the zipper's bottom stop aligns with a marked point and the zipper teeth align to the seam line as shown. Pin the right zipper tape to the right seam allowance layer, inserting the pins perpendicularly. It helps to move all other garment layers out of the way during this process. Prior to stitching, it helps to hand baste or use double-sided stick tape to keep the two layers securely in place, especially if you are not comfortable sewing zippers yet. Using a regular zipper foot, stitch through the zipper tape and seam allowance underneath following the woven stitch guideline on the zipper tape. Once stitched, remove the hand basting using a seam ripper. Close the zipper and align and pin the left zipper tape to the left seam allowance layer. Again, it helps to move all garment layers out of the way to facilitate the pinning process. Switching the needle to the right of the zipper foot and working from the bottom up, carefully stitch through the tape and seam allowance layers. Keeping the zipper closed, flip the seam on its face side and using your hand smooth out the seam portions housing the zipper. Hand baste from the top zipper opening toward the bottom at an even distance from the zipper coils capturing the seam allowance layer and zipper tape underneath. At the bottom, hand baste underneath the zipper stop, pivoting the stitch at straight angles. Next, hand baste back up towards the top garment edge on the other side of the zipper.
For best results, top stitch in two stages. Start at the bottom horizontally, then pivot up to top stitch lengthwise. Repeat this process on the other side of the zipper. As a result, you should have two equal plackets, one positioned on each side of the zipper teeth. At this point, remove all hand basting using a seam ripper. Move all threads to the garment's wrong side and tie them to secure. Once complete, pull the machine basting seam apart and remove all loose threads.